Okay, so welcome to another episode of discussion. So today we'll discuss the last type of Abrahamic religion, which is Islam. And I hope that you are excited. So through this, we will try to understand what is the doctrines, the practices in Islam. Okay, so let's start. So I hope na makahabol yung ibang section. Ano, um... Isa na lang naman yung lesson natin na i-discuss ano before yung third quarter. But syempre, ayan, kaya ginawa ko na din ito kasi talagang super late yung iba. So without further ado, let's start. So for the learning objectives, identify the founders, sacred text, doctrines, God and sex of Islam. Ayan, so titingnan natin kung uh, sino ba yung founder ng is ating Islam. Their their sacred text the doctrines and practices in Islam. Okay? And then, kung sino ba yung Diyos sa Islam. And then, sector or denominations ng Islam. Second, understand the characteristics of Islam. Examine the brief history. Pag-uusapan natin how it is founded, where it is founded. Core teachings, fundamental beliefs, practices, and related issues of Islam. Meron ba silang mga issues na kinakaharap dati or ngayon? Okay, yun yung titingnan natin. Okay. So, did you know that the five-pointed star reflects the five pillars of Islam, which are central to the faith and the crescent moon and stars are symbols relating to the greatness of the Creator. Okay. So, yung star na nakikita natin, yung five-pointed, sabi dyan, it represents the five pillars or yung practices na ginagawa ng mga kapatid nating Muslim. Yung atin namang uh, crescent moon, it symbolizes the greatness of the Creator or their Creator, si Allah. Okay. Next. Ayan. Kung makikita natin yung mga mga flags na yan, pag may nakikita tayo sa mga flags na ganyang symbol, yung crescent muna ng star, possibly yung state na yan or yung bansa na yun is Muslim country or mostly ang nakatira ay Muslim. Okay. On the right side, we have the mosque or the sacred place kung saan we no worship ng mga Muslim si Allah. So what is a mosque? A mosque is a place of worship for followers of the Islamic faith. It serves as a central point for communal prayers, gatherings and religious activities for Muslims. And bawat mosque yung mga structure niyan may mga ibig sabihin or may function which is hindi ko na sinurse kasi naman siya part ng ating discussion totally. Okay, so next. So, balikan ko lang yung crescent moon natin. Saan kaya yan nakuha ng Muslim or ng Islam? So, walang total na or exact answer on that. Madami yung lumalabas. Merong nagsasabi na yung crescent moon is nakuha nila dun sa uh, religious na umiiral dati sa Arabian Peninsula, polytheism, na ang sinisimbolize daw ng uh, crescent moon is the moon god. Okay, meron namang nagsasabi na yung crescent moon is um, palatandaan or sinusunod yung sa lunar calendar which is yun yung nagsisimbolize ng major events ng Islam. Like for example, Ramadan. Okay, meron din namang nagsabi na ang crescent moon is ginamit daw na symbol sa mga flags ng Ottoman Empire. And nung bumagsak ang Ottoman Empire, Muslim na daw ang gumamit dun ng symbol. Okay, pag sinabi natin Ottoman, yun yung imperyo na, namag, na mayagpag dati. Okay, pero ngayon yung kailang mga descendants is tinatawag na Turkish. Ayan. So, let's talk about the historical background of Islam. Islam was founded in the 7th century in Arabian Desert. Okay, Islam means surrender or submission to God. And, sino yung God nila? Si Allah. Okay, Arabic term which means the one who is God. The one who is God. Okay, nag-iisang Diyos which is naka-anchor sa kanilang tawid din. Okay, meron din yun sa shahada nila yung practice of five pillars. Pag sinabi nating tawid, T-A-W-H-I-D is ang meaning nun. Okay, uh, there is no there is no God but Allah. Kumbaga, si Allah lang yung Diyos, yung tawid na ka-align sa monotistic point kung saan nag-iisa or isa lang ang Diyos. 
So, like Christianity and Judaism, Islam is considered as the Abrahamic religion. Kumbaga si Abraham yung pinaka pinagsimula ng ating Islam. Okay. So, dati ba diba, kung inintroduce ko yung family tree ni Abraham, we have Sarah, Hagar, and yung isa is si Kitura. Nung hindi magkaanak si Sarah and si Abraham, okay, napangasawa niya si Hagar at nagkaroon sila ng anak at pinangalanan nila itong Ishmael. Okay. So, sabi dyan, si Ishmael yung considered as ancestor ng mga Muslim. According to Islamic tradition, Ab- Ibrahim or Abraham is revered as one of the major prophets of Islam. He is believed to have received revelations from God and is considered the patriarch of monothe- monotheism in Islam. Patriarch. Okay, so nagpasimula ng monotheistic beliefs na iisa lang ang Diyos. Ibrahim or Abraham had two sons, Ismael and Isaac. While both sons are significant in Islamic tradition, Ismael is particularly emphasized in the context of Islam lineage. The covenant or according to Islamic belief, Ibrahim or Abraham and Ismael were commanded by Allah to rebuild the Kaaba. Okay, ano yung Kaaba nila? Ayan. So, inutusan daw ni Allah si Abraham at si Ismael na i-rebuild yung Kaaba, which is considered ng mga Muslim ang Kaaba as the sacred sanctuary in Mecca. This event is central to the Islamic tradition and is considered a testament to their faith and obedience to God. Yung ginawa ni Abraham daw and Ishmael is patunay ng kanilang faith and obedience to Allah. Okay. Ishmael is recognized as a prophet in Islam. Kasi nga, okay, sino ngayon last prophet ng Islam? Si Muhammad, right? If you are familiar. I, I hope na familiar kayo or narinig din na yan. So, sa Islam, si Muhammad yung last prophet. And si Muhammad daw is um, galing sa lineage ni Ismael. Kaya, si Ismael ang tinuturing na ancestor ng Islamic faith. Okay. So, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the founder of Islam. Tandaan, siya yung nagtatag ng Islam. Muhammad ibn Abdullah was born in Mecca around 517 CE. Actually, yung Abdullah, Abdallah dati. Nakuha doon sa father ni Muhammad, which is Abdullah ibn Abin al-Mutalib. Abdallah, yung word na Abdallah, means servant of Allah. Okay, and then yung mother naman ni Muhammad is Amina bint Wab. Okay, so yung father ni Muhammad is namatay nung siya'y pinagbubuntis pa lamang. Yung mother naman ni Muhammad is namatay nung siya ay 6 years old. Okay, nung siya ay naging orphan, na naging ulila, inalagaan siya nung kanyang grandfather. And later on, nung namatay yung grandfather, he was raised by his uncle, Abu Talib. He, ac- he accompanied or sinasamahan niyo kanyang tiyo on many of his journey as a camel train merchant, meeting travelers from wide variety of cultures and religions. Okay, so pag camel merchant, yung camel natin sa Arabian Desert is major mode of transportation. Kaya talagang maraming makakasalumuhang tao si Muhammad sa iba't ibang region. Okay. He gained a reputation for being wise and al amin trustworthy. So si Muhammad talaga, okay, though siya ay member ng Quraysh tribe, yung Quraysh tribe ay politistic belief yung umiiral or madaming Diyos, siya ay lumaking honest, um, mapagkakatiwalaan, mabait. Okay. Kaya nga naging famous siya sa mga tao. Okay. At the age of 25, Muhammad married Khadija bint Kuwailid, a wealthy widow who was 15 years his senior. Their marriage was happy and prosperous. Okay. So, yun yung napangasawa ni Muhammad. Okay. He was a member of Christ's tribe, as what I'd mentioned earlier. Sabi ko nga, politistic belief yung umiiral sa Christ's tribe or madami yung Diyos na sinasamba nila. Okay. Muhammad often retreated the cave of Hira for meditation and reflection. It was during one of these retreats at the age of 40. So, mahilig mag-meditate si Muhammad dun sa cave of Hira, which is matatagpuan ito sa Mount Jabal or Habal al-Nur in Mecca. Okay. Doon din sa, Mount Hi- sa cave of Hira, nakareceive si Muhammad ng first revelation from Allah through the angel Gabriel. Doon sa unang 
nakareceive ng revelation. At yung revelation na yun is a special revelation. Kasi nga, for a specific audience and specific content. Kay, alal, kay Muhammad lang nagpakita si Angel Gabriel. <coughs> Excuse me, inubo pa din ako actually. Ayan. Next, Muhammad receives a series of revelation over the next 23 years which form the basis of the Quran, the holy book of Islam. So after makareceive ni Muhammad ng revelation sa Mount Hira or sa uh, Cave of Hira, nagkaroon pa rin or after 23 years, sunod-sunod pa din yung revelation ni Allah sa kanya which is kinumpiled niya sa Quran. Okay. Initially, sharing his revelation privately with family and close associates. So, nung nakareceive si Muhammad ng revelation, nagsimula na siyang mangaral, nagsimula siya in private sa kanyang family. Sunod is yung mga close associates, associates na niya, mga friends. Okay. Muhammad began preaching publicly, calling for the worship of the one true God, Allah, and denouncing the idolatry of the Meccan society. Nagsimula siyang mangaral, Um, alinsunod sa kautusan or uh, kalooban ni Ala okay. and nare-reject na niya yung paniniwala sa mga idolatry or mga Diyos-Diyosan in the Meccan society especially in Quraysh tribe and kaya nung ginagawa niya yun nagkaroon siya ng maraming opposition or uh, kaaway during that time parang hindi agree sa kanya okay. kaya ang ginawa ni Muhammad Okay, umalis siya ng Mecca at pumunta siya sa Medina. Yung migration niya from Mecca to Medina is known as the Hijra or Hijira. It marks the Hijra or Hijira in 622 CE when the Prophet Muhammad moved from Mecca to Medina and set up the first Islamic state. Ano? So sa Medina po itinatag yung first, first Islamic state ni Muhammad. Okay. And after years of conflict, Okay, and negotiation sa Mecca, sa mga Quraysh tribe or yung iba't ibang tribo doon, Muhammad and his followers returned to Mecca in 630 CE, peacefully conquering the city. Peacefully conquering. Ispe- uh, ibig sabihin nun, tinanggap na talaga ng mga tao doon yung katuroan ni Muhammad na galing kay Allah. Okay. <clears throat> the Quran which means recitation in Arabic is the most sacred text and is believed to be the literal world, word of God as revealed to Muhammad. So yung Quran nila or Quran is the holy book in Islam. Ito yung pinaka-importante na kinoconsidered nilang literal word of Allah, teachings of Allah. Okay, na sino yung nagsulat? Si Muhammad. Nag-compile siya for over 23 years. Okay. It contains the highest authority in both religious and legal matters and represents the fountainhead of divine guidance for every Muslim. Kumbaga, yung ating Quran, yun yung pinaka-guide ng mga Muslim. Katulad din sa ating mga Christians, Bible ang guide natin. In Muslim, Quran yung sinusunod nila. How to live or how to live life, how to be, um, how to understand life, how to be a good individual, how to be Uh, to follow the word of God. Nandun nakasulat, how to save yourself okay, para magkaroon ka ng reward uh, eternally. Okay, after life. Okay. So, lahat yun nakasun- nakasulat sa Quran. Another, meron silang secondary book, which is known as the Hadith. Hadith, which means narrative or report. In Arabic, the secondary text that records the sayings of Muhammad and his followers. It is a record of the words and deeds of Muhammad, his family, and his companions. Nandun nakasulat sa hadith, yung mga uh, word or mga sayings ni Muhammad. Okay. So, yung ating hadith is kinoconsider din ng mga Muslim as a source of guidance seeking to follow Muhammad. Okay. As their example. Kumbaga, tinuturing talaga nila na parang role model talaga si Muhammad. Pinapalo nila yung gawin ng buhay ni Muhammad. Tinitingnan nila ito as example. Okay. Next, let's, let's discuss the five pillars of Islam or the Arkan al-Din. We have the Shahada, Salat, Som, Hajj, and Zakat. So, in translation, yung Shahada, the creed or the faith of Muslim. 
Yung atin namang salat is the prayer, pagdadasal. Psalm is the fasting, pag-aayuno. Yung ating Ramadan na associate diyan. Hajj is yung pilgrimage or yung paglalakbay. Okay, zakat, alms giving or pagbibigay. Okay, next. Let's start with shahada or faith. Sabi dyan, there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his messenger. Okay, this creed summarizes the faith of Muslim. It is the first sentence in, is sentence whispered into the ears of a newborn infant. It is recited daily in prayer and it is written in the Arabic everywhere inside the domes of mosques and over their doors. Sinasabi dyan, ang una daw binubulong, there is no God but Allah and, is Muh- and Muhammad is his messenger. Ito yung naka-align din sa tawid. Okay, or oneness of God. Iisa lang ang Diyos, but Allah. Muslims pray or second to the five pillars, we have the salat or pagdadasal. Nagdadasal ba kayo? Muslims pray five times a day before dawn, midday, and mid-afternoon, sunset, and nighttime. Muslim pray facing Mecca before prayer. There is an individual cleansing ritual with water, washing hands and arms, face, neck, and feet. Okay. So, hindi lang sila basta-basta limang best magdadasal. May ano din condition. Dapat pag magdadasal, nakaharap sa Mecca or sa Kaaba sa Mecca. And may mga instances before their prayer, nagka-clean sila. Okay. As a symbol na before humarap kay Allah is dapat, you are clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Ang laksa mo. Next, we have the psalm or fasting, pag-aayuno. Ramadan is period of shared fasting among Muslim. Ramadan is the ninth month in the Muslim calendar. Or nagsisimula ang Ramadan. So, kaya ninth month, yun yung first, it, um, kinocommemorate nila. Kay Mamar is Allah's first revelation to Muhammad. Ninth month. Yung first revelation, ika ninth month, yung first revelation ni Allah kay Muhammad. And yung Ramadan din natin, sinisimbolize din natin, yung pag-fasting din ni Muhammad sa uh, cave of Hira. So, next is yung zakat, charity. Muslim donate a certain percentage of their wages to the poor. Actually, 2.5% yung sinishare nila. A good Muslim is expected to perform isolated acts. Hindi na kailangan ipaalam, i-broadcast, i-post sa FB, ano, of generosity and charity for the poor, which such acts are called for in everyday life. Ayan. So, yung ating mga kapatid na Muslim na may blessed or feeling blessed, they shared their blessings to those uh, people who are in need. Ano? So, ayan. So, charity, pagbibigay. Hajj or paglalakbay. Pilgrimage is a religious journey by a believer to a sacred city or site. All Muslim unless prevented by poverty or sickness are expected to visit Mecca at least once in their lifetime. Okay, once in their lifetime. When Muslim visit Mecca, they must touch or kiss the most the most holy stone called Kaaba. Okay, sabi dyan, um, yung ating mga Muslim, they are required to um, visit Mecca. Yung paglalakbay, pilgrimage. Pero may exemption. Yung mga may sakit, yung mga may hirap, exempted sila. Or kung hindi talaga kaya financially, may mga health issues, okay, exempted. May mga exempted din ng mga Muslim. Though healthy, may pera, pero hindi sila inaalag pumunta ng Mecca kung may threat sa Mecca. Let's say, may uh, lindol, mga disasters or war, mga ganyan. Hindi na sila pinaalag pumunta doon for their safety. Another is kung yung bansa nila is hindi inaalag na umalis ang citizen. May travel restriction. Okay, so exempted din sila. Ayan. So, let's talk about the central beliefs of Muslim. The first one is the Tawid, oneness of God, monotheism. Tawid is the fundamental belief in the oneness of God, Allah. It emphasizes that there is only one God who is unique, indivisible, and without partners. This belief is central to Islam and is expressed in the declaration of faith, Shahada, La ilaha illa illa, or il Allah or kung ano man, paano ba yun banggitin mga kapatid kong Muslim, I'm so sorry if nabang, nabigkas ko siya ng mali, ayan ang ibig sabihin lang nun, there is no God but Allah, ito na lang yung sa akin sa English, mas safe ako dito, ano, there is no God but Allah, 
Okay, yun lamang. Na nakalagay sa kanilang first, ano na, first pillar, yung shahada. Ayan, second, we have the Rizala or prophethood. Rizala refers to the belief in the prophethood which asserts that God has sent prophets and messengers throughout history to guide humanity and convey divine revelations. The final prophet in Islam is Muhammad. Ito yon. Madami na daw na pinadalang mga propeta si Allah sa atin to save or guide the humanity. Pero yung kanyang pinaka-final prophet is si Muhammad. Next, we have Ak Akira or afterlife. Akira refers the belief in the afterlife, which encompasses the concept of resurrection, judgment, and the eternal destiny of individuals based on their beliefs and deeds in life. Muslims believe in the existence of heaven, jana, and hell, jah jahanam, as literal places of reward and punishment. Pag reward, jana. Pag punishment, uh, jahanam. Parang paras lang din sa Christiana ng may heaven and hell. Okay, let's talk about the denominations in Islam. First is the Sunni Islam, the largest denomination of Islam, referring to the exemplary behavior of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Ito yung pinakamadami ang members, mostly nasa Saudi Arabia to. According to the traditions, Muhammad did not clearly designate a successor, and the Muslim community acted according to his sunnah in electing his father in law Abu Bakr as the first caliph. Okay, so si Abu Bakar naging first caliph, a uh, close companion of Muhammad. So in Sunni Muslim, ang tawag sa religious uh, leader nila is caliph. Okay, next, Shiite Muslim. Correct me if I'm wrong ha, sa pagbigkas. This group believes that Prophet Muhammad designated Ali ibn Abi Talib as his successor. Ang tawag sa kanilang religious leader is imam. Their belief is based on Quran and the message of Muhammad attested in hadith and on hadith taught by their imams. Okay. So, gumagamit din sila ng hadith. Okay. Um, bukod sa Quran, ginagamit din nila yun. Kaso nga lang, ang kaibahan lang ng Shite Muslim sa Sunni is imam, yung kanilang religious leader. And dito talaga, kung kay Abu Bakar, sila nag, uh, yung kanilang pinaka religious leader, dito pala sa ating Shite Muslim, nagsimula ito dun kay Fatima. Parang kinoconsider din nila kasi na si Fatima yung successor ni Muhammad. Sino si Fatima? Daughter of Muhammad. Okay, next, Caliphites. This group believes that Quran is the only source of direction in Islam and that the traditions of Muhammad and the other prophets are irrelevant. Yun, hindi sila masyadong naniniwala sa mga propeta. They claim that there is an intricate mathematical code in Quran proving that it is, that it is indeed the word of God. Yun daw yung talagang word ni Lord, yung sa Quran and could not possibly have been written by any man. Hindi ito yun basta-basta na susulat lang ng kung sinong tao. Okay, yun yung sa caliphates. Baha'i faith. This group arose from Islam and has now grown to be a worldwide religion. The Baha'i faith believe in the unity of God, unity of God, and the essential message that has been revealed through the prophets over time. They recognize Muhammad as a prophet, but also believe that Krishna, Buddha, and others were great manifestations of God or Allah, culminating in the teachings of the founder of their faith, Baha'u'llah. Baha okay, so, ang ibig sabihin lang, sina Krishna, Buddha, Jesus Christ, and other uh, known, okay, holy um, characters is parang manifestations lang daw ni Allah. So, let's talk about the issues. Medyo mabilis. Ano? So, una dito is yung ngayon. Ito yung isa sa mga issues na kinakaharap ng ating mga kapatid na Muslim. Terrorist organizations such as Al-Qaeda, ISIS, or Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, and others have committed acts of violence in the name of Islam, causing widespread harm and perpetuating negative stereotypes about Muslims. These groups often use religious rhetoric and misinterpretations of Islamic teachings to justify their actions. Kaya nga, minsan yung mga, pag, mga terorista agad-agad may isip Muslim. Ano because of this group? Nagkakaroon ng stereotype, ano, stereotyping or yung um, hindi magandang trato talaga sa mga kapatid nating Muslim dahil sa mga ganyan. Ano, pero dapat hindi ganun yung thinking natin. Kasi may mga kilala naman akong Muslim sa school, mga sudyante ko, mababait yung mga yun, masunurin, talagang rule-bounded. 
Ayan. Next, number two, Islamophobia. Islamophobia is fueled by misinformation, fear-mongering, and negative portrayals of Islam and Muslims in media, politics, and popular culture. Events such as terrorist attacks perpetrated by individuals claiming to be Muslim have often led to a surge in Islamophobic sentiments. Ayan. So, dahil nga sa mga pag-atake, sunod-sunod na pag-atake ng mga terorista, ang atin laging napapanood sa media para mga Muslim, nagkaroon ng takot ang ibang tao sa mga Muslim claiming that they are ter terrorist pero hindi naman talaga ano okay so sana wala yung ganong thinking natin okay ayan so we have to respect their culture their practices and their beliefs ayan huwag tayong maging uh, racist or mm, dinidiscriminate natin yung isang tao dahil lang sa kanilang religion okay so i hope that you understand or you learned something today thank you so much okay